Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with new signing Oriol Romeo, who in a recent interview talks about Barca return, his role in the team and the expectations for next season. Secondly, talking about Sergi Roberto, who also in a recent interview talks about Barca captaincy, Messi, Mbappe, Lamin Yamal. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Give the video a like as we get right into it. One of the veterans in the upcoming season squad, Aurea Romeo is delighted with his long-awaited return to Barcelona, where he is eager to make an impression and reward Xavi Hernandez's faith in him. Also hoping to act as a reference point for what it is a very young and talented squad, Romeo is eager to show what he is capable of after stains in England, Germany and with other sides in Spain. In an interview with TV3, the Spanish midfielder talks about his return to Barca and tells everyone what to expect from him in the upcoming campaign. On adapting to Barcelona, it's positive. It's nice to arrive in the dressing room with such a level that to be received in this way. A very positive atmosphere is being created and this will help us all a lot during the season, he said. Then talking on the style of football, Romeo said, I have learned the Barcelona way of playing football since I was a kid and this last year at Girona, we practiced a very similar style of play. On his role, he said, Xavi needed a more positional midfield player. It's a type of job I've good at, I'm good at. I can contribute to, you know, to both in defense and attack. I can be the figure in front of the defense and bring balance to the team. On how he's feeling, he said, I want to fight to get a lot of minutes and to help the team with whatever is needed. I see myself as an optimal moment, physical and mentally, to be able to have many minutes. On the objectives of next season, he said the objectives have to be very high, they have to be ambitious and courageous, and we have to go out there and fight for everything. I think we are ready to compete for all the titles. Of course, Otto Romero was signed um, some weeks ago after links for a long time, as Javi has finally gotten his man, because we know Javi was so instrumental for Barca going for Oreo Romero. In a bid to replace Sergio Busquets, who decided to, to depart Barca after his contract came to an end at the end of last season. Even though Oro Romeo was never the first choice, neither was he the second, third or fourth choice. But the fifth choice, the player is still hopeful that he will be a prominent member of Javi's team next season. For sure, he has every right to think so because Javi was so instrumental in getting the player's deal done as Javi is a huge admirer of him. Honestly, I still don't see anything special so far for a player of Aurea Romeo statue to play for a club as big as Barca. But it all remains to be seen. Maybe he can come and defy against the odds. But let's see how it goes. He might likely play more game time, especially because Javi does not see any other player apart from him as Sergio Puskas replacement. Despite Frankie the Young in the squad, despite Frankie Javi does not care. That is why Javi was always emphasizing that getting a new DM is his priority in this summer transfer window. Barca were linked with a host of players there, but couldn't get them. And of course, they had to go for a fit choice. Fit choice because of financial constraints. Of course, we had no choice but to do that because... Javi just wanted at least a, a, a player to come in Busquets replacement rather than just leaving it empty. It could, maybe for Javi it could have been a big failure. So Romeo, let's see how the coming season will look like for him. He sounds optimistic in this interview and we can see the fact that he's also hoping and hoping for game time. Of course, it wouldn't surprise me if Javi gives him a lot of opportunities because as I said earlier, Javi brought him to replace Busquets and in Javi's eyes, maybe there is no other person to play in that position apart from Romeo. So I expect him to play more, but I think the only thing that will make him not to play more is if his performances are not the best. 
next season is going to spell some trouble. It's going to spell some trouble. Of course, he will turn 32 years old in the month of September. And I think some people have been criticizing that. That why will Barca replace Busquets with a player close to the very Busquets age? No, Busquets is 34, if I'm not mistaken. And you are bringing a 32-year-old player. You know, so that's just that's just another very funny irony. But let's see. Maybe he can surprise us all next season. Then on to the final story of discussion. Reflecting on what has been a whirlwind a few years for the club, Barca's new first-choice captain, Sergio Roberto has never been shy in discussing his love for the club, even during some very difficult times. Um, ever the utility player, Roberto has been faced with criticism on many occasions, um, but he has continued to stand by his love for Barca, willing to help the club out in times of immense financial difficulty. In the interview RAC1, the Spaniard discussed the club's current dealings, issuing an update on their wellness, touching upon some transfer speculation, and talking about the honor of being the leader of a very young, talented side. On the team's health, he said, we couldn't play the game with Juve because we didn't have enough players. Half the team had a stomach ache and they had a very hard night. Now we are all fine. On young stars that have impressed, he, he said, I was surprised by Lamin Yamal because he is a different player from all the others. Femin Lopez also stands out of this quality. On the salary situation, he said, my situation hasn't changed, but I don't think about it. I'm very lucky to be at this club. There are difficult moments and this shows that I respect I have for the club otherwise i wouldn't have lasted on being named captain he said being the first captain is a responsibility but i take it with great desire and with great pride on Messi return saga he said everyone has excited for Messi return i would have liked to play with him again to have him the farewell he deserved and for him to return home was a story that everyone wanted it was tried um, but it wasn't meant to be on Mbappe remote he said i don't know if it is feasible for him to come, I don't know what happens to the players who are not here, but we want the best players. It is clear if he could come, he would be welcome. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.